Hi guys, it's Saturday morning and I am filming today. Um, I'm going to take you on three things today. Um, we are going to the Kansas City homemade um, clearance. So that means anyone that is a crafter or a local business artist, um, they will have their clearance items anywhere from 10 to 90% just today. I know that by the time this goes up, I feel so sorry for everyone that's missing it, but I want you to be able to see what these local artists have. They're such perfectionists and they will be showing off a lot of stuff that might be a little bit imperfected, but that's why they're selling it so cheap. But this way you can support your local artist. Um, next, we do have another thing like that. It is the Makers, uh, Maker Beautiful. Um, they used to be the Vintage White Market. Um, they're amazing. It's these two ladies that put it on um, in different states. We will be, I will be <laughs> going to that today. It will be at Union Station. So that's going to be exciting. Um, and then last but not least, I am going to be so hungry probably after all of this like scavenging and hunting. Uh, I am going to the Ethnic Festival. So I'm going to get my cuisine on um, going around to different vendors and different countries and having food there so that is put on every year in Swope Park in Kansas City Missouri um, during Labor Day weekend um, this is of course before Labor Day weekend um, but I'm excited and let's go saying the handmade KC clearance sale got quite a good amount of stuff there now I'm in Crown Center um, this is kind of like where I like to park to go over to Union Station um, and then we're going now to the Makers Beautiful so excited one of my favorite thing about going through Crown Center is going through the Westin Hotel um, I love it here and this is why
that was quite a few um, events that I went to, um, but I was really excited to get to go to all three of them. Um, of course, the first one was just like a pop-up one, so that one I just knew kind of on a whim, but I tried to fit it into my time, and I'm really glad that I did. Um, I took quite, uh, I took a good amount of things from the first event, the Handmade Kansas City Clearance Event pop-up store, um, and that's because I like a bargain. So I'm really excited to get to see all of those Kansas City artists. Um, now, of course, some of the things you might see are really like blemish or maybe on discount and might not be sold again because that is why it was all discounted. Um, but I mean, everything I still think is pretty great. Um, and then we went, I went to the um, Market Beautiful, which is amazing. Um, little thing that happens every year. Um, and everyone should go to it. They have them in different states, but I got, um, there are some, I believe from Kansas city, some artists that were there, but the one that I got was from Colorado. Um, so I can't wait to show that off. And then last but not least, I did eat so much good food at the ethnic festival. Um, so I'm excited to get to go to that every year. Um, and see all these countries come together and kind of get to taste everyone. So um, I didn't buy anything from there except food, so let's jump into the little show and tell at the end of this vlog. So you guys, if you watched the strawberry swing video um, at the Nelson Art Gallery, the last one we just put up, you will know that this artist is one of the people that were in the swag bag that we got. Um, and let's see if it will focus. Okay, and of course all these details will be below for you guys to go and purchase. Um, but if you notice, that is the same like shuttlecock little thing that was on the button, except this is a planter and I am so excited because I'm really getting into plants lately and I've got the perfect plant to put in here now. Um, and then <clears throat> the next thing is from Lost and Found Designs. They, of course, are now, I think, becoming one of our next favorite booths um, outside of Boss Prints. Um, so this is a little tiny $10 grab bag. Let me tell you this, one of the items in here is 10 bucks. So that is a really freaking good bargain. was from Tammy Smith um, and she does a lot of drawings of local areas, um, colleges, cities, people, um, and dogs. Um, she had a fundraiser um, raising money for going to the animal shelter and helping out um, so many dogs um, and getting homes. Um, of course, now all of her proceeds go to that organization, which I think is amazing, but uh, she got things super cheap. So these were only $2 a piece, these tea towels. I'm about to show you, they're amazing. <laughs> is Anne Franklin. Um, she is the designer for what I'm about to show you next. Um, she had some amazing earrings and jewelry as well and pretty reasonably priced. I think that's another reason why I liked her booth so much is that she is reasonably priced um, and I really like it. Um, she is from Colorado so definitely be able to check her out online and these are what I got from her.
vlog. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And then, of course, be sure to subscribe. Bye, guys.